Do you know one of the most common pain point for every data science aspirant? They do not get a very good understanding of common mathematical functions used in machine learning and deep learning. I do not want you to struggle on those lines. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I bring to you five most commonly used functions in machine learning and deep learning so that your data science understanding is very sound and smooth. Let's start. Now talking of functions, the very first thing I want to mention here is the function in mathematics is represented as f of x. The meaning is function of x. Okay. The concept remains same whatever we discussed in this video about python function. A function generally takes a value as input and gives a value as output. So at high level the concept of function remains same whether it is python or mathematics. Okay. So let's try seeing the function with some examples. Now a function can be very simple as fx is equal to x which means whatever value we give as input that function gives the same value as output. Okay. And what happens if we try to plot this function in x y plane? Let's see that. So when x is 0 y will be 0 when x is 1 y will be 1 and so on right. So if we plot this on x y plane it will look like y is equal to x line like this. So this is the line of that function. Okay. Now the function can be more complex than this as well. For example a function can be written as fx is equal to 0 when x is less than 0 and 1 when x is greater than equals to 0. The meaning is whenever there is a negative x the return value of the function will be 0 and whenever there is a positive x this function will become 1. So how this function will look like in x y plane? So if this is our f x, f x is on y axis and this is x, x is on x axis then for all the negative x's y will be 0. Hence the function will look like this up to here and after this origin at the moment the function becomes positive or greater than 0 the x becomes positive the function will be 1 the value of y will be 1. So this will be the line of that function. Okay? This function that we are discussing here is known as binary step function okay? and this is one of the important function that is used very frequently in CNN, LSTM and other deep learning neural networks. So this is function number one. Let's discuss some more functions from machine learning point of view. The very first function which I want to discuss here is log function. Okay. So a log function is represented as fx is equal to log of x. Okay. And log functions normally comes with a base. So base will be a number like n here. The meaning of this log function is what power this n should be raised so that we get x. For example, if I say let us say this is y, if I say y is equal to log of n x which means n to the power y is equal to x which means up to what power this n should be raised so that we should get the x. Just plugging in some values we can say 2 to the power q is equal to 8 which means 3 is equal to log of 2 8. So this is a valid statement. Okay. So this is about log functions. Now how this log function will look in x y plane we will plug in some values and see. So as we saw log function is nothing but y is equal to log of let us say for simplicity we put the base 3 3 x which means if this is 2 then this will be log 3 9 and if this is 27 if this is 3 then this will be log 3 27 right so if i plot this on x y plane then all these are x values so 9 will come somewhere here 27 will come somewhere here but y values are changing slowly so y is 2 y is 3 which means this is one point and this is other point so a log function looks like this okay and log functions will never go this side because negative x's are not allowed this is negative x so any moment x cannot be negative the reason being 
any number we cannot raise it to power some power so that it becomes a negative number okay hence the log function looks like this okay so log function is valid for positive axis only and it takes a shape like this when we increase the value of x okay and y does not increase by that magnitude of course because y is in the power okay another function that we want to discuss here is exponential function so an exponential function is fx is equal to n to the power x the meaning is y is equal to n to the power x right so if this n is let's say for simplicity 3 then y will be 9 when x is 2 and y will be 27 when x is 3 so what happens if we plot this on x y plane so which means when x is 2 then y is 9 and when x is 3 then y is 27 so if we plot the same numbers on x y plane so when x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 9 which means the point will be somewhere here when x is equal to 3 then y is equal to 27 which means somewhere here so the chart will start coming like this okay and what we are seeing here is this is your exponential function and this is your log function okay and if i draw a line here like this then this line this curve is the mirror image of this curve on that line which means exponential function and log function are mirror image or inverse function of each other this is very important concept for solving logistic regression most common used machine learning algorithm for solving classification problems so this is the exponential function and this is the log function and these two functions are kind of symmetric mirror image around this y is equal to x line okay another important function from deep learning point of view is known as sigmoid function okay this function is typically written as fx is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x now these might look little mathematical in nature to you now but these are really really useful when we go on to solve some artificial neural network and we need to select which activation function we should use so that neurons should fire now how this function will look like is all these topics we will discuss in detail when i discuss deep learning playlist for now how this function will look like in xy plane is if you see here carefully when x becomes 1 then this function will be sorry when x becomes 0 then this function will be 1 plus e to the power 0 which means 1 by 2 which means 0.5 so this function this is if this is y 0 0.5 then this will be x 0 which means 0 0 0.5 is one point on this function so our fx is on y axis and x is on x axis and if we go this side then this function starts becoming like this and if we go above this function starts becoming like this so this function is kind of you know active between x minus 5 to plus 5 this is the property of this function which means this function is kind of showing some deviation or showing some change between these two values of x if we increase x by a significant amount this function will kind of become constant here and if we decrease x beyond this then this function will you know kind of not change much now this property of this function is used in the deep learning model to evaluate certain parameters and to decide when to fire the neuron so sigmoid function is a very important function in layers of artificial neural network okay now coming to the next function from deep learning point of view only that function is known as relu function so relu function is kind of similar to the first function that we discussed which is fx is equal to 0 for all negative x's and fx is equal to x for positive x's so if we have to write it it will be fx is equal to 0 for all negative x's and fx is equal to 1 for all positive x's so this function is known as relu function this is again one activation function used in artificial neural networks an extension of relu function is known as leaky relu where we do not actually make this negative axis as zero rather we make this a small number so leaky relu looks like 
if we have to define leaky ReLU, it will look like f x is equal to let us say 0 0.01 times of x for negative axis and x for positive axis which means we are not bringing x to 0 for negative axis rather we are decreasing the magnitude of x hence this line will look like this. So, previously what we saw was ReLU and this is known as leaky ReLU. Okay? So, all these functions that we discussed here might not make much sense as of now to you since I have not discussed details of machine learning and deep learning models. But if you know the concepts well, if you know how these functions look in xy plane, if you know how these functions work, then it will be very easy to, for you to grab the most important concepts, the key uh, mathematical fundas behind machine learning and deep learning models. How did you like this video guys? Let me know through likes and comments. I will bring to you more videos on data science and machine learning. Till then, take care.